mpenzi mtazamaji wa Capital TV hujambo and welcome to Cap Chat where we have so many stories for you today as well as the main topic tutakuwa na sisi kwenye lisali zima tuko hapa watatu tunayo mengi sana ya kueleza tunatumaini tutakuwa na sisi kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho baadaye tutakupa nafasi pia ya kupiga simu na labda ukatupa maoni yako juu ya lile ambalo tutalizungumzia zaidi tutakwambia baadaye ni kitu gani tutakizungumzia zaidi na tutakutayarisha kwa ajili ya kutupigia simu mimi naitwa Sebastian Koloa but as usual I'm not alone niko na warembo wawili hapa nipo naye Hadija Zimbwe ambaye unakutana naye kwenye mambo ya mapambo mapambo eh, lakini pia unakutana naye kwenye maakuli kwa hiyo huyu hakika ni mama bora kama nyumbani kwake kumepambwa vizuri <laughs> na chakula ni kizuri nafikiri utakuwa enjoy sana lakini pia tuna uh, Vanessa Victor ambaye yeye pia uh, unakutana naye kwenye kipindi cha mizururo <laughs> out and about au sio uh, out and about lakini pia hivi karibuni alikuwa Zanzibar kule kwenye uh, zile sauti za busara babo kulikuwa kuna uh, mambo mengi sana nafikiri utakuwa umeona sana kwenye Capital TV sana. karibu sana leo story yetu kubwa kabisa ambayo tutaizungumzia kabla ya kwenda kwenye main topic is about uh, the uh, the the uh, sad death of uh, uh, mmoja wapo kati ya wanzilishi tunaweza kusema au viongozi wa juu kabisa wa Clouds uh, FM ama Clouds Media Group uh, bwana Ruge Motahaba ambaye yeye baada ya kufariki na taarifa hizi ilifika kwa watu wengi lakini pia palikuwa na mambo mengi ambayo alifuata baada ya hapo ikiwemo uh, kuwago kwake na hatimaye kuziko tutalizungumza hili zaidi like, but first we had some a few issues that we would like to talk about before we go to that uh, main story and the first one is from South Africa where well, a pastor called uh, Alf Lukaku Uh, I mean Lukao Alf Lukao uh, katika hali sio kawaida amemfufua mtu <laughs> amemfufua mtu kwa hiyo you guys what do you think about that story okay there's there's a, a misconception ni zinapokujaga swala la 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 imani na mimi binafsi kwa kweli naamini kila imani ya mtu ni nzuri hakuna imani ya mtu ambayo ni mbaya ila tu kila mtu na, uh, is entitled to their own imani yes. but sure. i've never seen this Vanessa. I talk scared because I don't the way we were saying you I'm in fufua there's something very wrong about that statement. I'm in fufua. Jamaa alikuwa amekufa amefufuka. Actually this is what I said Mimi when I watched the the because I watched an interview whereby a journalist alienda kwa employers au hiyo kaka aliyefufuliwa. Ndio. The guy sema no he was suspended from work kwa sababu alichelewa kuja kazini alafu akurudi tena tumemtafuta he never came back. Uh, Alafu ndo tukaona hii video. Ah itakuwa huyo itakuwa ni mtu wa shetani. <laughs> One other thing ni kwamba Hadija um, the kuna funeral homes tatu. Yes. Zimefungua mashtaka dhidi ya ya ya, mchu, ya, ya pastor. Yes. Kwa sababu wanasema wa, baadhi ya vitu vilichukuliwa kutoka hizo funeral homes tatu. Yes. Hazikuchukuliwa kwenye funeral home moja, yes. zilichukuliwa kwenye zote tatu. Exactly. Alafu ndo zikaenda kutumika. Kwao wamechukia kwamba sisi uh, vifaa vyetu vimetumika kwa danganya ya watu. Mm-hmm na wanasema kwamba hawakuelezwa vizuri kilichokuwa kinaenda kufanyika. What do you think about this story? Um kiukweli kwanza it's it's one of the shocking stories that I mean but a nightmares kwanza kuona kwamba iko kwenye lineup kwa leo. Kwa sababu nimejaribu kukimbia the whole week kutokuona uh, uh, hii video. Yaani nimejaribu kukimbia sana lakini kitu ambacho huwezi kukimbia ni kitu ambacho kime trend throughout the whole week. Sasa so, ukiongelea so, hizo funeral homes to be honest Uh, kwa nchi kama South Africa hizi mm. funeral homes zina thamani kubwa sana True. na zinaheshimika sasa imagine wewe una funeral home yako kwanza mm. imetumika ile van yako imebeba ile maiti na juu kabisa yani ile ya, ni ya kampuni ya flan, ya. alafu wale watu ambao walihusika pale watu wa services ni wapi mflani hawajui nini kinaendelea that was that was a very bad thing wana haki ya, kuf, ya kumshtaki yeah. huyu huyu pastor wana haki huyu pastor aweze kwenda kujieleza kwa sababu amedanganya amedanganya kisha amejitangaza publicity publicity ambayo ni wrong why is it wrong wakati ndio amefunguliwa it wasn't a real thing pale pale kulikuwa na, na wazazi wa yule mtu amesema na wenyewe kwamba huyu bwana sisi ni mimi ni mkewe mimi mkewe kwa jamani fariki hapo ndio unajua mimi mnabisha nini sasa ndio maana nasemaje hapo ndio inabidi ujue back story ndio sema nilipokuwa naangalia interview apparently the guy's family yote ipo part of that church na sio part of the church kwenye level ya congregant no yani ni wale wazee wa kanisa ambao wanafanya activities nini na inasemekana kwamba hata kule alipokuwa anafanya kazi kuna wafanyakazi wake wenzake walikuwa wanajibu kwa convince kwamba na wao waende 
wakafanya apparently he is also ameshajifanya kwamba haizi kutembea yupo kwenye wheelchair akasimama He's done that before. Yeah. Same pastor. Same jiponya. Same like pastor. You can help yourself. No, <laughs> we did it with the same pastor. Ah, we went to Mungu. Same guy, same, same pastor, yeah. different place. Yes. Okay. I love my poor televised. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. kule kazini alikuwa. That was way back when when he was sick. And then he died. Like <laughs> anyway. the best part is uh, yo ambapo mwisho wa siku ikageuka yeah. kuwa something which is more funny like yes. the hashtag resurrections yes <laughs> the, 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 the people the questions they've been asking in nanihi on on social media yeah. so how is heaven yeah anyhow pamoja na kwamba wenzangu hapo wanaonekana kidogo kutokuwa na imani uh, kama ambayo mimi kwa kweli mtumishi wa Mungu ninayo so you believe uh, uh, mimi bwana pamoja na wazee wa kanisa wale ni kanisa uh, tunakubali kabisa kwamba the pastor just finished the miracle the miracle had already started ah. na bahati nzuri ndio hicho kimetokea maana alikuwa na beta vile maana alikuwa na tweta vile yani ana tweta mnamuona kabisa we did this off the record on the record before we move on so you believe that he was truly resurrected no, i i decide to put my belief in myself not just was them to everyone anyway let's go to Saudi Arabia with this, some a good news princess Rima bint Bandar Uh, is replacing Prince Khalid bin Salman as the first female ambassador to the US from Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Now you you might remember Saudi Arabia walikuwa na tatizo moja kidogo baada ya uh, uh, kile kifo cha Khashoggi. Kash- Kashoggi, yeah. yeah. Sasa the they're trying to, you know, to like calm the situation because yeah. yeah. ime imeonekana kama wao ni ni makatili and what not, unajua? Mm-hmm. So they try to do that. What is your idea guys bearing in mind that this is a princess? Because okay, okay. it's a woman but it's, it's, it's a princess. As a princess she's already she 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 knows how she's going to conduct herself. There's no way she's going to be working towards the interests or or against the interests of the ruling um good point. Monarch. That's number one. Mm-hmm. So even while she's there she's going to be looking at the interests of her family. Okay. Who is in charge? Yeah. So technically me I personally I, I think it was more of a publicity stunt ku mm. safisha image. Yes. Ya kwamba sisi sio katika sababu as you know Saudi Arabia pia they had the problem women were not allowed to drive. Yes. There's a lot of issues that kidogo wana try to change as they yeah. seem to say. But I think it's a publicity stunt. Personally. Yeah, Hadija what's your it, It's not about trying to change. It it's going to be it will take a long while kwa sababu Uh, women who are up front in in a, in in a, in a culture and in a muslim background mm. it's okay. totally different kwa sababu sio kama wanawake hawajiamini au hawaaminiki hapana it has been like a culture culture yeah. ambayo True. women depend on men sio kwamba they are weak women depend on men for safety reasons kama hiyo issue ya driving it was all because of safety reasons mm-hmm. wanawake walikuwa wanaonekana wanaweza wakapata matatizo barabarani mm-hmm. you know ma, barabarani weak. kuna mambo mengi they were seen as weak not seen as weak they were protecting the women they were protecting the mothers <laughs> okay. they were protecting I, the wives but the, the guys I, they theory, just should just die in theory <laughs> with the rima that, is with different. the way you're saying that it works in theory if you see it on a piece of paper and yeah. with, her, with her as but in she was saying when she was asked about that question she said she was living in in US since she was since 1975 and then she went back home in 2005 and then she lived there for 15 years mm-hmm. without driving anymore mm-hmm. without uh, being able to move around kama alivyokuwa anaishi marekani mm-hmm. but yet again she came to realize that i'm a woman sawa i'm exposed nina 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 experience tofauti na mimi nataka kuwa activist kuna vitu vidogo vidogo that's what she said kuna vitu vidogo vidogo vitabadilika taratibu lakini with. culture is going to be part and parcel of it kwa sababu wale ni waarabu they have their own cultures and yeah. cultures never change i respect mm. that and i respect the fact that it's religious based you know kwamba protecting but that's why i said you have to remember something even with the bible let's talk about christianity mm. it's individual how the individuals chooses to interpret it mm. how yeah. they choose to, th- that's why both kuna so in, many different kuna lutheran kuna, yeah. kuna, kuna mm. pastors wake seba huko south africa there are different interpretations yeah. my worry is kwamba 
yes, first of all, there'll be changes. The changes will be slow. It's mm. just how will, will she be able to do good for the majority of Saudi Arabians mm. instead of just for maybe her Maybe family. she will, maybe she will. Okay, my only issue with uh, religious issues, Abazo, na cultural issues pia ambazo huwezi kuzingilia. The only issue is most of the things that were put uh, were put a long time ago. Like for instance you can't tell me that you decided to to put the the, uh, the law that uh, was wanawake wasiendeshe ili wawe protected because I believe regulations na laws za nini zilianza kutengenezwa kabla ya magari hayajatengenezwa. Unaelewa? Yaani kwamba sasa inakuja kuwa kwamba okay wanaume sasa wafe. <laughs> so, lakini at the end of the day ukimpata mtu akakuelezea vizuri it might make sense. Ila, make this sense. is a this is a positive move. Ila kama haitakuwa na manufaa yoyote exactly. itakuwa tu public publicity stunt mm. hapo ndio itakuwa tatizo sana. Au sio? Tunakubaliana kwenye hilo. Yes. Lakini tusiwaze tu wanawake wapelekwe. It's a princess. Waanze kupeleka na wengine ambao hawakutoka kwenye royal family. Sababu yeye kwenda Marekani and what not. It's normal for her. It's, yeah, it's, she's been there before. Yeah, she's been she's always there. Amazing yeah. she yeah. 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 pale kwa yeah. Mrefu and I think yeah. also that was a big reason as to why they chose to they chose her. Yeah, kwa yeah. yeah. sababu anajua mazingira, anajua nini anataka yeah. kuji expose nacho and yet again she had to go back home for 15 years kujifunza lifestyle. So, so. so she's got the, now yeah. she's she's balanced. Anyway, let's turn to the uh, the top story about to nayo wiki hii ambayo ni kifo cha uh, mwenzetu kwenye tasnia ya habari. Ruge Mutahaba ambaye alikuwa kiongozi wa Clouds. Kwanza twende tukatizame baada ya taarifa hizi kuwafikia uh, baadhi ya wadau au ndugu zake, marafiki na wengine wote ambao walikwenda pale kwenye msiba. Tuwasikie hali ilikuwaje pale nyumbani kabla hatujaenda kuzungumza kidogo juu ya Ruge. <tos> ni pigo ni pigo kubwa sana kwa tasnia pigo kubwa sana kwa vijana pigo kubwa sana kwa taifa na Ruge alikuwa ni mkweli anapona kwamba watu wanajionea huruma baada ya kuwa proud kwamba hapa nilipo mimi na jiamini kwamba nataka kufanya kitu fulani lakini lazima mimi nijitume mwenyewe tasnia burudani labda atatokea mtu mwingine ambaye atafanya mambo makubwa lakini kwa kweli hamna atakayefanya kama Ruge kwa sababu Ruge ndio aliweza kujengea wasanii nafasi ya kuheshimika katika jamii yetu Joyce Mahavili akizungumzia kimzungumzia Ruge ambaye uh, katika mawazo ya watu wengi ni kwamba competitors are enemies what they don't understand is that for, especially in the med- especially in media industry competitors are never enemies we just competitors we compete with this and that and that and what not like any yeah but at the end of the day i like that she, what she said about him kuhusu creativity yake yeah. We will ne- we can never take that away oh, from, him. from him Vanessa um he, unajua, what's sad about this and also very ironic unakumbuka kipindi kilichopita we mm-hmm. talked about him we were hoping that he gets better tukaongelea pia kuhusu competition to see how it's good to see how media zime band together despite kujaribu kumsaidia and unfortunately mm-hmm. he passed away he lost his battle with his illness um I think alikuwa na a very 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 big and important impact mm-hmm. kwa the entertainment industry mm-hmm. in Tanzania especially the music industry kama MD alivyosema MD yetu alivyosema kwenye hiyo clip he made he made musicians become respected kwa sababu ukikumbuka zamani tulikuwa tunasikiza mimbo yeah we like them but then like it's they don't they were not really profiting from it mm-hmm. there wasn't really any ile formalization of kwamba you're an mm. artist this is mm. your craft it's mm. a, it's 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 a profession mm. and sure. i think i'm a a very big thing in terms of that kwa yes. Tanzanian industry that yeah you can't take that away from him yeah and and kwa kuongezea alichokusema alisema professor jay kwamba wakati wao wanaanza kuimba na nini mziki ukuwa uhuni na ikuwa yeah. kweli kabisa yes. ukiimba wewe ni muhuni yeah. lakini kwa sababu ya watu kama kina rugi sio yeye peke yake obviously well, yes. lakini kwa sababu ya watu kama yeye mm. He became a professional and a respected one. Exactly, and he didn't only just focus on okay, the industry began with music. Mm-hmm. And just like how the family were saying, 
um, kwamba katika vitu vyote ambavyo Ruge alibahatika ali kuwa navyo ni kupenda muziki na sio kupenda alipenda na kuishi muziki yes. na he made muziki au the music come to life in Tanzania na sio muziki tu ilifika mahali kwamba he had, aliona there is he has to expand more of his his wings you know uh, his wings expanded much kwa vijana sio kwenye mziki tu kuna maana ilifika mahali kwamba katika kila nyumba ya kila mtanzania in every 10 houses kuna wana mziki wawili wa tatu mm. it was all because of opportunities ambazo walikuwa wanaziona kuna okay. pastor alikuwa kwenye music yeah. and then later on ikabadilika you lazima uwe na confidence lazima ujitambue lazima ujiangalie nini unaweza na take from there and then you move one step ahead that's why he did and not only that akaja kwa wanawake sasa yeah. wanawake how yeah, yeah, he kept on saying so the government is doing well to support watu in groups and stuff yeah. but the times lazima mu acknowledge mtu mmoja mmoja kwa uwezo wake yeah. and yeah. yet again akaleta malkia wa nguvu i think there's more things yeah there's, there's a lot of things yeah. Yeah. So, so, so basically basically he was uh, he was big and kama yeah. tuona jinsi ambavyo watu walikuwa wame uh, wamesimama barabarani kumsubiria wakati anatoka airport mpaka alikushushwa mwili wake alikushushwa airport mpaka alipofikishwa uh, kwenye eneo lake uh, kwenye mochori kabla ya kesho yake kwenda kuagwa that can tell you how big he was lakini pia mm. uh, the kind of things that people said the kind of people that uh, spoke in his in, uh, wakati wa, wa kutoa heshima za mwisho mm. lakini pia pamoja na yale yaliyozungumzwa pale mm. yanaweza kuonyesha how big he was ebtu askilize baadhi ya watu ambao walikuwepo wakati wa kutoa uh, salamu za, uh, za heshima ama heshima za mwisho mm. na wakatoa baadhi ya salamu zao akiwa mwenyekiti wa makampuni yetu ya IPP Dr. Reginald Mengi pale ulipoimba urudie kuimba nikarudi ya kuimba Nilivorudia watu wakasema bosi huyu yuko chini kiwango. Ruga akasema najua yuko chini kiwango lakini mwacheni ninahisi ana kitu. Ruge alinifundisha na mimi kuanza kuuliza wale watu ambao wananizunguka, wanonihudumia. Ninawachukuliaje? Ninawatreat vipi? Kwa amenifundisha utu. Nadhani hili ni mwenzetu alifaulu huo mtihani wa kutowaona mshamagari mtumishi ndani kama watu ambao hawastahili upendo wake na msaada wake ndugu zangu mimi sinamija kuzunguza nikuja hapa kumwaga kijana wangu aliza wa bwana Mungu lakini ina habari njema kwenu habari yote yeye ni kwamba ruge hajafa Ruge hajafa kwa sababu roho haifi na mtu ni roho. Yule mtoka mwili ikasha tu la, la, la roho. Alikupata utazika mwili wake lakini utazika roho yake kama alivyosema Ruge sherekee tufurahi naye. Na tuzi muda baada ya kulia tumuombe ili roho yake ile mapema mapema ndiyo Hi. It was a very very sad. Day. It was a very sad week kwa kweli. Yeah. Mpaka leo bado bado haija haijaisha. Emotionally draining. Yeah, yeah. Emotionally like my hiyo uh, nakubaliana na wewe. Friday sitting in that office office yetu pale tunapoka yeah. and then the entire kuanzia airport paka ndani hii. You know, you know, to punguza sauti so that we can get work done because you keep tearing, you're crying, yeah. unafuta machozi, you're emotionally like just sad. It's just been a sad week. Actually, I passed uh, nilipita hiyo hiyo wakati wa wakati mwili wake una, unapelekwa uh, unapelekwa Lugalo. Mimi nilipita njia ambayo walikuwa wanataka kupita from kuanzia nyuma kabisa huko Magomeni mpaka njia ya Tandale yote na mpaka kwa sababu nilikuwa narudi ofisini. Niliona jinsi watu walivyokuwa wamejaa. Unajua kuna watu wanaweza kawaza kwamba ni picha na nini na nini. Lakini this tells you something. And it doesn't just tell you something about how big a person is, lakini how people realize how important he was when he like yeah. after he's gone. Yeah. Well, kabla wakati yuko, kuna watu wengine walikuwa wanachukulia poa tu, unajua eh? Mm. Lakini mimi I can tell you, January Makamba alizungumza vizuri sana. Maana naomba hakusikika mengine alisema kwamba he was a good guy to a lot of people. 
sio kwamba alikuwa saint mm. kuna watu walikuwa wanam, wanamchukia yeah, yeah. na kuna watu amewakosea because he's human yeah. so what matters ni kwamba angalau kuna kitu kizuri amekiacha and we can take it yeah that's yeah. very true family wengine ambao walikuwa wanasema ah okay his ruge sawa ni ruge atazikwa yani mm. hivyo mm. nadhani hata wao walivyoona jinsi ambavyo ruge alivyokuwa akipitishwa mtaani vile ambavyo watu walitoka hawa, watu hawako expect and yet again kulikuwa kuna clips kwa zinaonyeshwa watu wanaangalia amini usiamini Tanzania ilisimama for those hours ilisimama nobody could focus on anything except for this except for this yeah. yani whether yani wanamaanisha kwamba hata kama hukukaa ukaangalia ulisikia hata kama wewe hukushiriki kwenda barabarani uliona kwenye TV. So Vanessa I want to ask you something. What about the people that that had grudges with this guy and they're still holding their grudges? What do you think about them? Like what do we what can we think about them? Okay, you know what? There there are two ways there were two ways to look at this. Okay. Kuna those people who were not in good terms with the late Ruge, yes. but when he passed away they put that to the side mm. yes what are you going to do you're going to be mad at, a, at the person who's dead it, it's not it's not productive hata kwa wewe because okay forget True. about him True. for you come away mm. why are you holding on to something when the person has moved on to another place True. and then there are those people ambao and mimi i cannot judge any, anyone yeah there are those people who say mimi sisi sijaenda kwenye msiba wake kwa sababu mimi siwezi kuwa mnafiki He did a lot of bad things to me when he was alive. So I'm not going to I'm not going to pretend kwamba now that he's dead that we were all besties and what yeah. not. Mm. Yeah. And I respect that because that's an individual ni mtu mtu binafsi ana right ya kuchagua au kuamua hivyo. But my personal opinion would be I don't I don't, I don't get the point of having a grudge or staying mad na mtu ambaye ameshafariki. Yeah. Kwa sababu the only person who left ana anaumia ni wewe. Yeah, because yeah, he's like you, you don't know what it feels anymore. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Hadija? Actually, si, si ku, si And some of them are public people, like Exactly, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Sikutegemea. Sijui labda it's because of my personality. Mm. I don't believe in that. Okay. Unajua mtu akishafariki, amefariki. Na yeah. Tanzania culture yetu sisi always na kwanza pamoja. Whether so, kwenye shida, okay. kwenye mm. kwenye raha, tunakuwa tuko pamoja. Always wewe ni Tanzania wa kawaida. Okay. Then suddenly kuna watu ambao unaweza ukafanya hivyo kwa kujificha yeah. lakini sio kwenda in public kwamba bwana mimi hivi na hivi haisaidii unajidhalilisha kwa sababu kama nakupa example moja sitamtaja kuna mwanamuziki ambaye very tunajua kabisa kwamba she had a reason to have a grudge mm. yeah. against Ruge. Mm. We know Tanzania nzima mm. wanajua. Yes. But when he passed away, mm. I've not see, heard or seen kwamba she said anything negative exactly. or anything positive. Yeah. She's not posted anything about him, her compost or kunini. Mm. She just kept quiet. And she and just changed. It. Okay, um, um uh, I don't know if you're speaking about who I speak. I'm speaking about but um, um, one of uh, the the she's that uh, had a problem <laughs> with uh, with him. Um changed her whole uh, profile and then the main word was i don't care whatever you do care that's why you say that uh, that's another that's you, another shit now there's another shit no, no, no. <laughs> I, uh, i saw that shit you, you, you saw that shit that's, 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 that's not the shit you're talking about that's not the shit you're talking about fine whoever it is you do uh, care that's why you say that's, that's why it. exactly actually tena i find that passive aggressive yes writing i don't care i found that very passive aggressive yeah. because you, you care. care because if you didn't care you wouldn't need to change anything ngiendelea tu na maisha yako nimegusa hapa nimegusa sehemu hapa kidogo because it's women and unajua kushindana na mwanamke kwenye mashindano yote ambayo anatumia mdomo lazima ushindwe kwa hiyo wewe utafuta pesa tu anyhow before we go for a break i i asked this uh, this uh, girl here about this because uh kati ya maneno ambayo alizungumza mtoto wa Ruge Mtahaba mwachi uh, wakati wa kuagwa kwa mwili wa baba yake ni kwamba mshona alisema kwamba kama kuna watu wote ambao uh, baba yetu aliwaudhi ama aliwakosea tunaomba msamaha sisi kwa niaba yake mm-hmm. and kama kuna yoyote ambaye alimkosea na sisi tumemsamehe so i think this was touchy and mm-hmm. kikwa kitu ambacho kinaweza kikamfanya mtu mm-hmm. even if you had a grudge yeah. i think you should just let it go epton tukamsikilize baadhi ya maneno mengine ambayo alizungumza mtoto wa ruge mwachi 
Mtu wa kaunti watu mtayari wake kusaidia na kushiriki ulikuwa kwa juu sana na kwa kipaji na akili alionayo kweli wengi sana walikuwa na mhitaji baba alikuwa mshindani halisi na kama nilivyo biashara wote na kama binadamu tunatambua kama wale wale wa kwanza kwa namna moja au nyingine kwa niaba ya familia tunaomba kumsamea na sisi kama familia tunawasamea wale ambao nao kwa namna moja au nyingine wamkosea Ruge kwa kinara kusimamia kwamba upate macho stahili bila kuchagua wewe ni wapi au msomo wapi umeanza kukosa wengi kwa sababu ni mtu uliyetanguliza mbele yake alikuwa kusa zaidi ni tayari wa mtu kufanya kazi akamwe hakuwa mchoyo wa kutoa msaada au ushauri ndio lake inaweza lizibwe na mtu mmoja lakini kama kila mmoja aliyeguswa hapa akichukua somo hili na kuamua kwa dhati kwamba yeye atajaribu kugusa angalau wa Tanzania wawili watatu sote kwa pamoja tutaweza kuziba ili pengo na nchi yetu tutaenda kusogea mbele na hapo Well, hiyo ni speech fupi tu ambayo ya baadhi ya maneno ambayo alizungumza mtoto um, wa marehemu Ruge Mutahaba. And it's really sad. It's really really sad, but mwisho wa siku kama tulivyoambiwa na baadhi ya wazungumzaji wengine kabla ya hapo, we have to celebrate his life. He was a good guy. Uh, maybe to some of the people, maybe not so much uh, good to some of the people, but at the end of the day he had a huge impact in so many people's lives. Kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku lazima tu tuta celebrate his life. RIP rest in peace Ruge Mutahaba tunaenda kuchukua short break when we come back we're going to talk about the mysteries of online dating tutakuruhusu na upige simu tukirudi tutakutajia namba ya simu na tutahitaji hapo wewe kaa tayari tu kuanza kuongelea mambo ya kudate date najua utakuwa ngumu kidogo kushift haraka haraka lakini kama ulikutwa na msiba kwenye online dating basi nafikiri utakuwa kwenye mood nzuri sahihi tutaenda kwenye break and then we'll come back on main topic Hi, my name is Kotaro Tokuda. What's up? My name is Sean Garnier. I'm John Barnes from Liverpool Football Club. The hip hop, the hip the hip the hip hip hop. You don't stop the rock into the bang bang. We get up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to the beat. Now watch you hear. I'm watching Sports Gazette. I'm watching Sports Gazette. And you're watching Sports Gazette with Sebastian. With Sebastian. With Sebastian. Peace out. Yes. And you can also watch Sports Gazette for highlights and interviews regarding sports. Do not miss Sports Gazette every Wednesday at 7 p.m. only on Capital Television. And we're back and we're going to speak about online dating and cap chat this is the main topic now kama ndo kwanza umefungulia television yako hujachelewa bado una nafasi tena una nafasi nzuri zaidi ndio wakati mwafaka sasa ambapo na wewe unaweza kuchangia kupitia namba zetu za simu kwanza nikutajie topic ya leo topic ya leo tunazungumzia ni online dating sasa ili kuonesha kwamba ni ngumu sana kwetu sisi wa Tanzania sio kama kuna neno la dating kwa Tanzania lakini ni kuanzisha mahusiano mtandaoni kuanzisha wakati mnaanzisha ndio dating. Kwa kuanzisha mahusiano mtandaoni, je inakuwa gaje hii? The mystery sasa yale mambo ambayo yanatokeaga huko. Ah na siku hizi uzuri mkona mpaka application za hizo shughuli. Kwa hiyo na, nafikiria pakati yetu hapa kati ya mimi Vanessa au Adija kuna mmoja wetu anaweza kawa nayo hiyo application. Atatueleza vizuri zaidi. Yaani hawa hata wewe unaweza kutu. Apigie simu kupitia 0677333000 sifuri sita saba saba tatu 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 sifuri 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 tupigie tuambie wewe oh, unafikiria nini kuhusu kuanzisha mahusiano mtandao eh namcheki mtu facebook umeona dp sijui ama page ya page yake ina picha nzuri kweli na unamwoa kumtumia message moja kwa moja na kuanza kumueleza jinsi gani umevutiwa na macho yake eh na masikio na vitu kama hivyo tueleze wewe unajisikiaje kuhusu hilo naomba nianze na Hadija Hadija what do you think about online dating like Would you advise against or advise 
pro. Are you pro or are you not pro uh, online dating? Okay, I'm against it yeah. because I've been a victim once. You're against it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You've been affected once. Exactly. Uh -huh. when, you are, when you're growing up, na wakati sisi tunakuwa, ndo mambo ya Facebook, mambo ya BBM, high five, vitu kama hivyo eh. Nzizo. Nzizo. Ina lobby. Eh eh eh. Then unajua yani vitu kama hivyo wakati vilivyokuwa vigeni, tulikuwa tunaamini karibu kila kitu. Chochote kinakuja tulikuwa tunaamini. Kwa hiyo hata mtu akikwambia akianza ku approach na nini we feel like there's something real man you know you eh? mm. maybe this is real them them the chat for like months mm. eh? and then ile siku inakuja the mystery of online dating zile pictures zikuwa zinaikuwa kwenye madp kule ndio airline on flick zile post na nini you know my darling the day you uh, you agree to meet I remember that day you were zamani steers yeah. huh? by the Millennium Towers. The steers is was the, best, the scene of any crime. The best mm. place to be at. Mm. And then suddenly you're like, okay, I was like, mtu wa kwanza atakayepokea simu, yani mtu akija akipokea simu cuz I went first. Yeah. Ili nione kwanza mazingira yani yako vipi. Yani ile simu inaita na huyo mtu anayepiga simu, my darling, I chipped off. Ah, sasa, okay. How do you know? How do you know? Ah, 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 Ah. It wasn't his in the pictures. No. Ah, la. Lakini lakini unajua ni nini? Wa Marekani wa Marekani wenzetu wanaita catfish. You are catfish. Yeah. So, so lakini Bye. lakini <laughs> lakini okay. That that's okay. That's one way of thinking about. Lakini ah. Vanessa, when you chat with someone, mpaka mkaamua kwamba we would like to meet. Yeah. Eh? See, it's not about the physical eh, nani appearance. Sasa mpaka mmesha chat mkaona tunaongea labda tunaongea lugha ndio moja. It's just the thing about the physical appearance because if you lie to me about what oh, you look like, yeah. then you're going to yeah, lie to me trouble. about multiple other I didn't things. I didn't lie to you. I just told you, I just didn't tell you how I look like. Uh, like no, that. let me ask you a question. Uh. If before you got married, mm. let's say you're chatting with a girl and the pictures she send, sends you maybe is this curvy thick yeah, yeah. lady and then you that's come her. and then you oh, meet, her, and yeah. then you meet her and meet, meet her you meet a toothpick. Mm. You're oh, going to be okay yeah. with that. Uh, it depends. Uh, 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 the way you summarize. Uh, uh, the way you summarize means something. I will just know kwa mba anadanganya. Why? Wakati tuna chat, wakati tuna chat, I will know. Yani, I, I don't know. I nafikiri kwamba saa nyingine ni rahisi kuunganisha mwandiko wa mtu anapoandika kwenye text na the kind of oh, something that you're thinking. Okay, anyway. You're a professional liar. Okay, anyway, okay, Vanessa. Okay, sasa hivi kuna kwa mfano sisi Tanzania, uh -huh. we can't compare ourselves with the rest of the huko Marekani and what not the wale wanaoendelea. Definitely. Kule kuna watu ambao wanapata shida ya kupata mtu wa ku date naye. Mimi mimi napata so, shida ya kupata mtu wa ku date naye Tanzania. Oh, <laughs> by the way unasema hapo ambayo za watu. Sizali kama itakuwa ngumu. Na uzuri wa kandi ile sio kwa Anyway, it's what I was saying. It's it's thing. It's it's thing. Sasa kule kuna kuwa na zile sites kabisa za online dating. Hmm. Yaani sites kabisa ambao inataka hmm. kama unataka ku meet up hmm. before like sasa muangalie kama na, na site kuna application Tinder. Tinder, right? Yeah, una, oh, una you know, swipe like left, una swipe it. right. Huh? Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'll give you my story. Yeah. I'm very honest. Okay. Yeah, I downloaded it. Uh -huh. I downloaded it. Uh -huh. Checked it out. Uh -huh. And then I, I uninstalled and deleted it. Because oh. yeah. it's just disgusting. Why? Because you you swipe right, but you're still you swipe left. You're no, still and you find left. somebody you no. match with. And then once you, you chat well on uh -huh. the app, uh -huh. The questions are send me send, send me a picture blah blah blah. Ah, so you're going to chat with people? Oh, 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 would talk to were yeah. just creepy yeah. and off-putting. That's the problem with that. That's you, maybe. I met, a cool, I met a cool guy who's my friend t 
till today. Not like that, but we mm. we, 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 we were chatting and we became friends. Till mm. today, and it's cool okay. people. Yeah, yeah. It's cool people. Like it did work the other way. Like but dating, me, dating was hard. No, I don't. I I personally don't think online dating is for me. Uh huh. Okay. Do you think it can be for anyone else? Like, have yes. you ever have you ever met a person who, who was like, I did this and they work for me? Yes. In Tanzania. It, yes. Deal. Mm -hmm. You know why I think it, it might not be for me, but it might be for other people. Because I'm going to think of the concept of, of online dating for a minute. Let's see if Kiri e Kwanza. Come on, you to buy unapenda kuandika zaidi. You unapenda ku express yourself via writing or mm. texting. Naitaga keyboard warriors out. <laughs> <laughs> True, and there are a lot of them. Um, then that's probably utakuwa, uta feel more comfortable, more safe. Mm. Kwanza to get to know somebody via. Um, easy online apps kuliko ku meet unaweza kuta yeye ni mtu ambaye uki meet afu kuona date first day yani he's probably he or she are quiet people they yeah. don't really talk so yeah. people like that labda you they get comfortable with you via text kidogo labda watu kama how it will work for them i know people who've done online dating and they've met people who they're still dating how did you today i have i have one of my friends um it, it worked for her yeah, but it, it, she's it, one it, in a million. It, it, it worked, but again, there's there's, 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 there's some slight percentage of lying. Okay. Believe me or yeah. not, there yeah. is some percentage of lying. Okay. This guy claimed to be Mzungu, and then coming here, the guy's Marabu. Voila. Voila. Okay. <laughs> now, tafadhali, kama una, una wezo kupigia simu, sasa hivu tuko mubasha rap, Capital TV, tunazumumzia mysteries of online dating. Ama changamoto zinazotokana na mambo mbalimbali ambayo yanatokea kutokana na kuanzisha mahusiano kwa njia za mitandao, mitandao ya kijamii, mitandao mingine yoyote, ndio unaanzisha mahusiano huko. Tupigie 0677333000677333000. Tuambie wewe unawaza nini? Hapa Hadija na Vanessa wanaonekana kama wanaona hili si jambo zuri sana kufanya lakini wewe sibaje ya mimi get your stand mimi sina shida mimi na jambo jema ya mimi hapa naona ni jambo jema kwa sababu gani kwa sababu unajua kama ilivyosema Vanessa hata sisi kwa mfano wanaume sisi okay most of the times kwa Afrika mwanaume ndo anaanza kumueleza mwanamke intention zake mm. kama yuko interested naye mm -hmm. saa nyingine hata mwanamke ndo anaweza kuwa alikuwa na interest naye mwanzo lakini yeah. atajisikilizia kidogo which is good yeah. which is good I'm, i'm not against that lakini swala sasa na hata sisi tunapokuja siwezi kumwambia tu Vanessa nimekutana naye mara kwanza na mike okay sisi nini nitamuumba namba yake kwa sababu nikienda nyumbani naandika na futa naandika unajua pale pale ndo ninapotisha na kwenye na kwenye social media siwezi kupost vitu vya ajabu vitu vibaya unaona hiyo na hii na post yani wewe unafikiri nitapiga picha 10 kuna moja nitaitafuta nitaiwekea mwanga nitawekea hiki ni kwa smile kubwa yani you got it in one that's why yes. that's why it's easier there unajua <laughs> lakini kwa mfano tukikutana wewe labda kabla sijaanza kuongea lazima niwe na um uh, uh, kama tatu zile zinaweza kurudisha nyuma when the person yes. like me i think you're dumb sasa sasa kumbe kuna vitu vingine tunaweza kuvumiliana lakini vile vitu vikiorigana siku ya kwanza bila kwa shida umeelewa kumbe kuna vitu we could have, yes. like, we could have, like you, you would have been nimemwona facebook Facebook akwa na post amevaa suti nini unajua eh mm -hmm. so waga anavaaga suti yeah. kwa hiyo swala kuvaa hili ni kaptura yeah. hii tunaweza yeah. kulibadilisha yeah. this we can change you know, after we meet now yes. you're like this we can change yeah. shida inakuja pale ambapo people go the extra mile to get that alafu wanakuwa wamedanganya lakini mimi sio ni kama ina tofauti na mwanamke ambaye amekula makeup nyingi sana siku ya date ya kwanza hata kama mmeonana au nyinyi mazungumzia je no 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 yeah. with this with that To a certain extent I agree with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's lying. No, because no, no, I mean first date no, zangu. Because we first date that I I think most of the first dates that I've ever gone on I'll do eyeliner, mascara and lipstick or lip gloss. Zungumza bas Kiingereza cha kawaida. Wengine hatuelewi. Mpaka mwanamke ndo aelewa. Makeup ndogo. Kidogo. Makeup kidogo. Cut eye nyeusi kwenye jicho, mascara, lipstick or lip lip gloss bas. Eh. Lakini kuna mtu anajiweka yani ukija kumwangana unaona mtu tofauti yani. No but then makeup is supposed to Afu squeeze kuna vitu vingine vya kuongezea kwenye mwili. Unashangaa mzee. Sasa hiyo ina tofauti gani na online dating na mtu ambaye amekuonyesha picha nyingine umekuja kukutana na mtu mwingine? Okay, the question is kwa nini kwenye once it comes to issues of dating, kwa nini kuna mambo ya lying? 
ule uongo una, una kile kiungo maana ni kiungo ni ni it's insecurity ile, ile ni ingredient hey. sasa hii ingredient kazi yake kubwa hasa ni nini tatizo <laughs> unajua kwa wanaume na wanawake wote tuna tabia mbaya ya kuwa na vigezo vyetu vingi kwa maana mimi nataka huyu mwanamke awe, awe kidogo juu mwembamba mm. chini awe mnene sasa yule mwenzako naye yeye si sio hivyo uh -huh. lakini anaweza kaaba akafahamu zoezi maskini akaja kuwa hivyo lakini akija pale hasa kwenye facebook pale anatafuta kila anayemuona anataka awe mweupe kila anayemuona anataka awe mweupe kwa hiyo anaweka filters nyingi za kuwa mweupe ili apate angalau mtu ambaye atamwanza sasa haya mengine yatajua baadaye yeah so so i think watu wanakuwa forced to do that because they're insecure and the insecurities start with what they hear a lot of people say including friends yeah. kuna kuna mtu aliniambia kwenye dating hiyo ingredients ya, ya uongo mm. iko kwa ajili ya kuvutia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. kwa ajili ya kuvutia to bring the attraction. Eh. Wewe uta yani wewe uta enjoy vipi kuendelea kuchat na mimi kama sija kudanganya kidogo? Uh -huh. Utakubalije wewe hata kuonana na mimi kama sija kudanganya danganya kidogo? Uh -huh. Alafu kibaya zaidi wanasema uwezi mpata mwanamke mpaka umdanganye. Uh -huh. Kuna siku ni kwa salon. Hiyo <laughs> sokoni. That's, that's a good point. Ah, ah, kidogo seba usindanganye tafadhali. Ah, kidogo. Ah, ah sio kudanganya. Ah, kidogo. Unaweza kufanya kidogo, kitu ambacho huwa kufanyi mara kwa mara. Wewe sio wewe sio uongo. Ndio kitu kidogo. Wewe sio uongo. Yeah. No, that's a good point. You can go an extra if, mile, if, but if that does, doesn't mean you do you lying. You're if, not lying. Kwa mfano, huja hujazoea labda kwenda same flani kula ama kunywa. Umeelewa? Mm. Kama steers. Wewe mwana umemuita steers. Wewe ndio kwa sio zake. Lakini kajiuliza kaona sasa udada tukutane na wapi? Nimwambia tukutane bale siji nishomba au wapi? Ah ah mimi huyu kuliko tukutane naye bai ya Kiswahili. Huyu bwana huyu sasa dada watu na nini hapa tukutana hapa walevi wamekaa hapa kuna kilabu cha pombe pale kuna wauni wanauza wanavuta bangi hapa siku na siwezi. Kwa hiyo basi mimi nitajitoa nitakwenda steers. Si jamaa kajita hizi. Wewe sio uongo. Kwa nini wewe ni uongo? Wewe sio uongo bwana. Lakini pia lakini pia ila akikwambia kwamba mimi ndo nakuoga hapa ah wewe sasa ni wewe sasa wewe kwa kutana hapa ili tuzungumze msio hapa kwa lakini akianza hapa na mpenda kwa sababu sauti zake na nini ya Vanessa What I wanted to say is kwamba lakini tukiangalia tukifocus kwa Tanzania tu unajua online dating is something ambayo inatumika vibaya sana boko very bad vibaya sana and hiyo that my short story into tinder ndo nimekuja ku realize there are a lot of young girls who are using it as a nani hii platform to sell their themselves and so unakuta unakuta many men now have that perception that women who are on that's they want that's what they want you they want Sex for pay, yeah. up for business. Mm. And also another big problem here, online EO, mm. you find people who are married. Okay, Hadija, um, <laughs> mimi naona kama, mm -hmm. like, wewe unezo kamalizia kwenye hizi, lakini naona kama, uh, dating haipo Tanzania. Yani kwa Afrika sisi, not a lot of us know about dating. What dating. do we think when we talk about dating is the opportunity to have sex with someone? That's what we yani that's what we think. Yes. Kwa online, online dating, eh, online dating ndio maana mtu akikutafuta anakwambia nitumie picha yako ukiwa umekaa. Hizo zina uhusiano vipi na dating? So that is basically, basically if that's the case that is just what to me transfer what? culture okay. ya dating ya ya, ya bongo wa Tanzania yeah. mm -hmm. onto social media. Kwa, kwa sababu True. kwa sababu kwanza hatuna mila ya dating sisi. Yeah, hatuna hizo. Hatuna mila. Eh, mila ya dating hatuna sisi. Hatuna. Wazungu wanayo hiyo. Hakuna. Yeah unakwenda na wana sheria kabisa za dating hey, si yani hatuna. yani wao kule sisi tumeichukua tu kutoka kwao yeah. tunaiga kwa hiyo vitu vingi hatuvijui kule kuna sheria zake mm. sisi hatujui hata kama kuna sheria mm. ujui kama mtu akikuwa abuse pale una, una haki ya kumchukulia sheria yeah. hakuna mtu ambaye anajua hicho kwa sababu sio culture yetu mm. yeah. sisi culture yetu haiko kwenye hayo mambo jamani never ever forget that mm. ndio maana unafika huko unaweza kaumbwa kitu ambacho kujategemea hata mtu anaweza kakuomba katika maisha yako yote. Na usilaumu. Sasa <laughs> okay, tumalize hapo. So so it's a, it's a kama itaishia kwenye kitu like you started becoming friends. Normally hata 
Facebook and it add as a friend. As a friend. Hey, you, add, hey, you add a person as hey, a friend. So if you become friends <laughs> as much mbaka mkakutana mkamua kudate, then so. it's a good thing. Lakini kama ikiwa ni opportunity to kufanya yenu, kwa kwa nita kwa sweja mbuzuri sana. We are going uh, now to our next segment. Tuachane na mysteries of online dating. Kama unafanya hizo mambo, angalia sana. Lakini umcheki Vanessa, kasabu Vanessa abasema she has trouble getting someone nambao yuko serious. <laughs> awe wa miraba minne, awe mrefu. <laughs> How do you know all that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wenjo tuna ufupi wako wala usi mshindo. No. 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 <laughs> now, we're going to We're going to next segment about what tunazungumzia mambo mazuri na mabaya lakini yale ambayo yanapatikana zaidi kwetu hapa hapa Tanzania. Na hiyo segment si nyingine bali hashtag #255 Karen, tell us how has it been going at this year's festival? Well, the turnout with Vanessa is amazing as it is. Thomas, hello. Nice to be there with you. What is the purpose of this meeting and who will be in attendance? Talking about how African countries can stop relying to a large extent on... We are definitely seeing a lot of deeply political films either directly treating a political issue or with a political subtext. Don't miss the live special report between Capital Television and Dushwell Television at 9.30 p.m. Hi. Sasa, mapaza ni kwa nime maisa lakini sikusema ile Facebook na Instagram za Vanessa kwa yu. Ah! No! No! Anyhow, nitafute. Kama unanijua mimi vizuri, kwa nitafute tu mimi nitakupatia vyote kabisa. Twende kwenye hashtag uh, plus, two, uh, plus two five five ambako tuna, leo tunazungumzia kiswa hili. Mm -hmm. Now, kiswa hili ni lugha ambayo imekuwa sana, ni lugha ambayo imetukuza sisi wote, mm -hmm. na ni lugha ambayo mimi binafsi kwa kweli na ipenda kweli kweli. Baadhi ya watu baada ya kuniona nafanya kazi Capital TV wakafikiri kwamba ni kwa sababu sifahamu vizuri Kiswahili. Na wanafikiri hivyo kwa baadhi ya watu ambao tunafanya Capital TV. Mm. Lakini what do you guys think about this language? Kiswahili. Hadija. Mashallah. It's a very it's, ni, 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 ni lugha nzuri sana na sio kwamba ni lugha tu. Yaani kuna lugha ukiongelea Kiswahili kina package. Mm. Kwenye kuongea ta, matamshi yetu Alafu uzuri wa matamshi ya Kiswahili yanaendana na na kitu fulani ambacho kinakwenda smooth. Yaani neno linaendana na kitendo. Mm -hmm. Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo ukiongea kama hivi ninavyokuambia mimi. Kiswahili ni lugha, sio lugha. Mm -hmm. Lakini kuna watu wanatuharibia Kiswahili chetu. Mm -hmm. Tunapenda wale ambao wanapenda kutaka kuongea Kiswahili kama sisi, kama wa Kenya wenzetu wanajitahidi mm -hmm. sana waganda wanajitahidi wanapambana lakini Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo inatutambulisha sisi kama wa Tanzania inatutambulisha sisi kama wa Afrika Mashariki sidhani kama ni wakati mzuri kwa sasa hivi kwa mtu kushobokea lugha ya nje sana kuliko kuongea na Kiswahili kapito tu kwa Kiingereza tupu ikafika hmm. mahali Kiswahili kina thamani sasa tunashukuru sana uh, Hadija kwa kuzungumza Kiswahili fasaha sasa <laughs> That. Sasa naomba tumpe hiyo assignment Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa, una unazungumza vipi kuhusu Kiswahili? Wewe ukisikia neno Kiswahili, unajisikiaje? Ama ukienda kwenye nchi ya mtu, ukasikia mtu anazungumza na wewe kwa Kiswahili, unajisikia? Nasikia vizuri kwa sababu Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo kwanza ina inakupa msisimko, maneno yake hata kama mtu unabishana una, una na mtu Kiswahili kinauma. <laughs> kinauma kuliko hata ukibishana na mtu kwa Kiingereza. Yaani mm. na hata ukiongea na mtu kwa Kiswahili uh, maneno mazuri au mabaya ni tofauti kabisa. Ni kweli. So kwangu mimi naamini kwamba Kiswahili ni it's a banging good. It's a good, it's a good language. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa, hadija kabla ya kuzungumza Vanessa, mm. umetueleza kwamba Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo ni nzuri sana ni lugha ambayo matamshi yake na hata wewe mwenyewe uko unazungumza unasikika vizuri kabisa ukiyatamka na nini na nini sasa kwa nini inasemekana kwamba wakati tunaanza tukiunganisha na topic yetu ilopita mm -hmm. wakati unaanza kuanzisha mahusiano huwa ni lugha ngumu sana Hapo kuitumia siye. kwenye haya mambo yani yani maneno yake yanakuwa kama ni magumu ukitumia i love you eh ukatumia you know i i 
I, I always think about you, you know. I dreamt about you. Sasa like, sasa jana nilikuota tulilala pamoja. Yaani inakuwa kama nikupe. Ah, ngoja. Ngoja, 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 ngoja. Vanessa, wewe umekutana na watu wasoji wa Kiswahili. Ngoja, ngoja Hadija tupe mfano. Hadija tupe mfano hebu hapo. Kwa sababu utakuzungumza mambo mazuri kwa baba. Yes, ngoja nikwambie kitu. Kwa sababu watu wengi wanapenda kumkumbia Kiingereza. Imagine mtu anakuambia ninakupenda. Unaelewa? Inaingia. Inakuingia mpaka kwenye moyo. Mpenzi wangu mambo. Bila kumkumbia mtu mpenzi wangu, wajisikiaje na hali leo? Ndio. Mtu anakuuliza how are you? Eh. Tofauti na kumkumbia unajisikia alafu unapewa nafasi ya kuelezea. Sasa sasa kama kila kila mambo. Kwa hiyo shida sio lugha. Shida ni yule anayetumia. Bila unaitumia. Ana maneno mangapi? Maneno mangapi? Maneno ya Kiswahili yako mengi. Kwa sababu unaweza ukaitwa unaweza ukaitwa baby. Unajua baby ni neno la Kiingereza lakini ni neno lakini unaweza ukaitwa mahbuba. Imaji ni lo neno kwanza lazima ushtuke. Ni neno kidogo ambalo linakufanya usije na mnaifanya. Kwa swala si kwamba Kiswahili ni kigumu au ni kibaya. Kuna maneno mengi, kuna mazuri, watu wasiojua kuyatumia. Kitu wale azizi wewe utakataa wewe kutoa. Okay, mimi I can only naweza nikajiongelea mimi mwenyewe kama mimi. For some reason. Lazizi tu yeye yaani mimi nimekutea. For some reason. Lazizi moja tu. Kiswahili. Uh-huh. Kwenye maneno ya mapenzi. Mm -hmm. I can't take you seriously. Ah. Hujampata <laughs> yule akupata hiyo maneno. Unaonesha maneno na kuambia wewe. Afikiri ah, sio kwenda Zanzibar wewe. Aupati tu mtu huko. Next time ukienda Zanzibar, sasa ni sara huko. Ah mimi mtuma mimi. Wewe mtu, mtu, inawezekana bali anakokwenda akutani nao. Hakutani nao. Lakini kitu kingine kinachobua. Kiswahili ni lugha nzuri sana. Ila nadhani kwa 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 vizazi vyetu hivi mm. kuna mambo yanaharibika. Mm. Yes. Kuna mahali ukienda seba ukiongea Kiswahili wewe uko na mshamba. Ni kweli. Lakini ni kwa sababu gani? Unajua mimi I can noga na 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 naweza kuwaza kwa nini Kiswahili kina kwa kinadharaulika kidogo kwa kwa kwetu kwa, kwa, kwa sisi. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kwanza kwa sababu ni chetu tunakuwa tunakijua. Unajua yeah, yeah. ukiwa na kitu unakifahamu. Mm. Mm. Kwa kwa mfano hapa juice kati nilikuwa kwenye fashion show fulani wakaeleza kwamba kuna kanga hizi ambazo wanawake ndo wanatumia kujifunga kati wanaenda kuoga na mezani wanazieka mm -hmm. zile kanga sio zinaitwaje lakini Marekani na nchi zingine huko zinauzwa kali kweli kanga kanga, kanga za kawaida sio hata vikoi kanga za kawaida kabisa lakini kwa sababu sisi tunazo siku zote tunazichukua hapo so hata lugha yetu mm -hmm. hiyo ni moja ambayo naiwaza mm -hmm. lakini jambo la pili ni nafikiri kitendo cha kusema hadharani kwamba uh, sisi lugha yetu ya kiofisi itakuwa Kiingereza mm -hmm. lugha yetu ya kawaida ya kijamii itakuwa Kiswahili. Yaani ukishasema hivyo manake for me to sound official, unajua eh? For me to sound official, me, I have to be taken serious. I have to be a good English speaker. Mm -hmm. Lakini nikizungumza Kiswahili au nikisema nikienda sema afu nikasema mimi kwa kweli nitazungumza Kiswahili ili watu wote wanielewe, unachukuliwa kwamba wewe ni wa, wainafaa. Lakini mm -hmm. mimi nafikiri what's the props? The good thing. Sio kuchagua kwamba mimi bwana nitaongea Kiingereza tu. Au mimi bwana Kiswahili tu. Ah. If you know them both, mm. una win 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 situation mm. ukikutana na mtu ambaye sababu Kiingereza lazima tujifunze kama unataka kufanya biashara sasa na kimataifa. Mm. Lakini Kiingereza kilikuja kikaonekana kama lugha kubwa mm. kwa sababu hiyo. Ila ni conception mbaya mm. kwamba mtu anaojua Kiswahili ajui Kiingereza ana akili. Mimi bibi yangu, bibi yangu, bibi Koloa kabisa mm. nafikia atakuwa anatizama hapo sasa hivi. <laughs> Hai bibi. <laughs> ajui, ajui Kiingereza. Mm -hmm. Anajua kisamba lakini anajua kijerumani. Mm. Haya nieleze wewe unajua kiingereza, unajua kijerumani. Anajua kijerumani chote. Kwa hiyo kama ni swala la ushamba kati ya wewe na yeye, dhani bishaba. Umeelewa? So, lugha ni ni lugha tu, lakini Kiswahili inabidi tukienzi. Mm. Yeah. Au unasemaje? Mm. No, I think kweli inabidi tukisambi tukisambi tukisambi. Unaona bila? Ah ah, na kisentence. Yeah. Shule ya msingi ya. Unajua ukisoma shule ya msingi ya, lazima ujue hivi vitu. <laughs> Kuna imla, unajua yule mwalimu alikuanga wa imla yule? anakuja na fimbo anakwambia ayaandika imlad imlad unajua maana yake dictation dictation kwa anakuja na fimbo anasema aghalabu uandike aghalabu alafu anapita na gari anasema shaghalabagala 
kwanza huko nadhani ndio tumefanya watu wengi wakiwachukia waki, 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 yeah. Kiswahili mm. na aweze kukimbia Kiswahili. Sasa hivi tuna watu ambao wanaongea Kiswahili. Bora hata Vanessa anastama au kuna maneno mengine. Vanessa sasa hivi anajua Kiswahili. Zamani alikuwa ajui kabisa. Lakini <laughs> lakini unaweza kukutana na mtu <laughs> anaongea Kiswahili huelewi. Sawa? Vanessa mchalia, yeah. Seba msamba, yeah. mimi mdigo, sawa. Yeah. Lakini sidhani kama ni, ni kitu kizuri sana kama basi Vanessa ukiangalia Kiswahili utuchanganyie na ile slang yako yeah. ya kwa. Makila kingwa flang kwa nini valida eh, nini? Yaenda kutana. Yeah, Mapocho <laughs> <Mabwe. laughs> pocho nini fresh yani? Wait, ukisema kuchanganyia na slang unamaanisha nini? Let me. Yaani zile lugha ambazo zina kwa tofauti kabisa. Wewe unaweza kujicontrol kwa sababu wewe ni ni ni, ni mwandishi wa habari. Yes. Mm. Na wewe ni mtangazaji. Yeah. Sawa. Unajua ninaposimama kwenye kio kile Kiswahili changu chenda kudhi ya Kichaga hakina nafasi. Ni kweli? Eh unaongea kwa ajili ya Watanzania wote. Yeah. Kwa hiyo lazima uongee matamshi na maneno ambayo kila mtu anaweza kusikia na akakuelewa. Ni kweli? Sasa watu wengi wanakosea sasa hivi Kiswahili kinakuwa kibaya. Mm. Mtu anachanganya tunakulaga, tunaendaga. Mm. Unajua mwisho hii kulaga tunaendaga yanakuwa mm. mpaka yatageuka kuwa maneno official. Tunakuelekea. Sasa ndio hivyo ndio mpaka wa Kenya unawasikia sasa hivyo wanasema tunaendaga like mm. okay where you Kenyan where do you get this na kulaga um make very valid point kwa sababu ukiangalia marekani kuna maneno mengi ambayo yalianza kama slang hapo sasa hivi yamekuwa maneno exactly ndio maana wao Lakin... wakafungua nini wana urban dictionary ukiachana yeah. mm -hmm. na dictionary of hey, sports hey. au unakutana na limtu l naika r mm. r l eh ivo ya lakini hiyo nimesikia kuna watu ambao <laughs> wada naturally matatizo ya matamshi ya r na l hapana uh, yani uh, ni kwa sababu kitu gabaiti wa kipi ni sawa mm. ukienda muda mrefu unazoea lakini anachojaribu kusema Hadija ambacho mimi nakielewa sana ni kwamba kweli kila lugha lazima ibadilike yeah. na lazima ikuwe yeah. ama iongezeke yeah. maneno yanaongezeka maneno yanaongezeka mm. lakini alikuwa anamaanisha kwamba kuna baadhi ya maneno uongezekaji wake ama ubadilishaji wake unaharibu yani ile ah, ile neno ambayo ilikuwa linavutia kulisikia sasa hizi haivutii tena yes. kulisikia kwa sababu na kulaga nimetajwa katika namna ambayo unajua nimetajwa <laughs> katika namna namna ambayo inakuwa tofauti kidogo inakuwa ni tofauti mtu anaipenda kusikia mara ya kwanza lakini kisha kwa sasa ndo neno kabisa yeah. limeshaka yeah. inakuwa kidogo tofauti tukubali tumalizane na swala mwisho kabisa kabla mm -hmm. hatujamaliza mm -hmm. Kiswahili kinatakitumike kwenye uh, lugha kama lugha ya ya, ya, sh ya shule ya kufundisha hasa kweli ndio Vanessa ndio kwa sababu um, I think mimi hapa siku benefit sana kwa Kiswahili kwa sababu mimi nisoma shule ambayo Kiswahili nilikuwa na, na tunasoma kama Kiswahili somo. kama somo kama somo eh. mara moja kwa na two, two periods mara moja kwa wiki dakika uh -huh. mbili. alafu baada ya hapo uki ukiongea Kiswahili ndani ya shule hiyo ni suspension uulize ni swali yani wewe ni nenda tu nyumbani <laughs> katafakari maisha yako yeah. ambayo i don't think in, it's fair na in, inasaidia i so think Kiswahili inabidi yeah. itumike both na private schools hata na public schools so so. In, inatakiwa ifike mahali uh, utanzania wetu kwanza Vanessa sasa hivi samahani lakini nikikuweka wewe na mkenya utaonekana hmm. wewe where you belong there <laughs> i get that a lot so, hata yeah. mimi napata sikitaje yeah. tukaweza kuingia kingereza yeah. hata mimi naambiwa mkenya lakini mwisho wa siku mimi ni mtanzania unajititia vipi na mtanzania ni kiswahili sawa sawa hai tuweke nukta hapo kiswahili kinaweza kutumika pia so. we have different opinions about mm. that lakini at the end of the day ni lugha yetu yeah. lazima tuheshimu na lazima tuone nao sawa leo hatutakuwa na memes kwa sababu ya nature ya wiki yenyewe yeah. imekuwa wiki ya huzuni sana kwetu baada ya kumpoteza mpendo wetu ruge mtahaba kwa hivyo naona kama kucheka kwa kweli kwa siku ya leo itakuwa si jambo zuri sana mm -hmm. next week lakini tutarudi hapa tena kukupa memes kede kede tutachagua zile nzuri kabisa hadi zile ambazo tulipanga kuziweka leo tutakuwekea pia siku hiyo mimi Sebastian Kolo sikuwa peke yangu nilikuwa naye Hadija Zimbwe mtaalamu kabisa wa Kiswahili <laughs> uh, lakini pia tulikuwa naye Bibie maana miss ni Bibie <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> Victor wote hapa tunasema sana sana tukuache na wimbo huu ambao uh, baadhi ya wanamuziki walimwimbia Ruge baada ya kuondoka RIP Ruge ndio la kutazama Capital TV
Salimu maulana ruge tutaona. <laughs>